So, Welka, what can I say? Here we are at the end of GADMC 2021. I can truly say that this conference, like life, is a marathon, not a sprint. During this 10 days, we've heard from more than 50 speakers, we've had 44 presentations, and we've had registrations from just over 1,500 delegates. Importantly, and despite the obvious limitations of time zones, we've had speakers and attendees from continents all across the world, except sadly, Antarctica, but there's a challenge for 2022. During this conference, I've attended 42 of the 44 presentations, it's true, and I've learnt a lot. Animal disaster management, animal emergency management, animal welfare emergency management, whatever, however you refer to it, it's a broad interdisciplinary field. There's a lot that's already established, tried and tested, but there's also so much more that's emerging. We've heard many voices and perspectives from veterinarians, government officials and policymakers, academics from many disciplines, emergency management experts, industry associations and stakeholders, international NGOs and social workers, um, uh, legal experts and community volunteers. Despite all these different and disparate perspectives, amongst um, the things I've learned and felt is that we are all in this together. And when we do what we do, we're working in a much larger system. For me, there have been two messages that have come through strongly in this conference. The first is that we need to learn from each other, to capture, share and implement those lessons learned. The second message is one of integration. To be, to, to be successful, to do the best for animals and for the people who care for and depend on them, we need to be integrated into the emergency management system. Not an annex or something that's called in when needed, something that's there at all stages, risk reduction, mitigation, preparedness, response and recovery. For just as we operate in an emergency management system, if we stand back and consider the challenges we face with climate change, compounding and cascading disasters, emerging infectious diseases and food security, we can see that to be truly resilient, we need to consider the whole ecosystem. Now, many of us presenters have spoken about this in various different forms and ways and different wording. And this is all wrapped up in concepts such as deep ecology, one health, one welfare. Finally, in summing up the conference, one of the most important things I've realised is the incredible strength we have by being part of this international network. Together, we really are much better, much bigger, much greater than the sum of our parts. Now, that comment creates a rather nice segue to our inaugural GADMAC social event and trivia. Despite, I repeat, despite the technical challenges we faced, I faced, I think we achieved the intended outcomes. We met each other, we had a laugh, and we had winners. Our winning team was aptly named the Five Continents Rescue Team because of their international composition, and clearly this contributed to their strength. I'd like to congratulate the team members, Hans and Thambi, uh, Thambi Prem, Judy Kimaru, Letitia Koproski, Mathilde Odish, and Michelle Ver Verville for taking out the virtual, as in imaginary, uh, GADMAC Trivia Championship Trophy. I'd now like to close the conference with a list of thank yous and acknowledgements. First, on behalf of the GADMAC team, I would like to thank our platinum sponsor, World Animal Protection, and our gold sponsors, I4, International, Fed Fund, for a International Fund for Animal Welfare, the Bushfire Natural Hazards Cooperative Research Centre, Reach and Rescue, American Veterinary Medical Foundation, the C4 Group, the Australian Institute for Disaster Resilience and Central Queensland University. I'd also like to thank our silver sponsor Hills and the organisations that sponsored the individual presentation sessions. Together, these sponsors made it possible for us to host a conference that was free for all attendees, enabling us to make the conference as open and inclusive as possible. So thank you. I'd also like to thank the Board of Animal Evac New Zealand Trust as our host and in providing management of our financial activities. I'd also like to mention specifically the Australian Institute for Disaster Resilience, who through their journal, the Australian Journal of Emergency Management, are supporting our collective endeavours with a special edition of an Animal Emergency Disaster Management um, special edition in July 2021. 
They are also making a significant contribution through the provision of time of their editor, Chris Belcher, who has been part of our GADMAC uh, organising committee. Regarding Central Queensland University, we would like to thank the university for hosting the conference on the Zoom platform and a special thanks go out to Jace, uh, Jasper Waller and the rest of the IT team who we've been keeping busy and they've been supporting us throughout the conference. I'd also like to thank Antonia Allen for managing the sponsorship options uh, orders. And during the conference, we've also had some great help behind the scenes during the Q&As and on social media from Be Rebecca Husted. And Josh Trigg has also been here assisting me. Last but not least, I'd like to thank my fellow organising committee members, Steve Glassy, Gerardo Jerez, and Chris Belcher. The fact we have GADMAC is down to Steve, who put in unbelievable hours to get the website, administration, and all elements of the organisation running, whilst going through just a minor transition of moving country and job. Gerardo has uh, been a consistent supporter uh, and has been important in getting GADMAC up and running and keeping it on track, despite the time zone differences for him in beautiful Costa Rica. So what next? July is the next big GADMAC month. To coincide with the launch of the special edition of the Australian Journal of Emergency Management, we'll have the GADMAC Awards Ceremony in July. We'll also use this opportunity to launch the edited set of the conference session videos. Regarding the awards, Data from the session evaluations and a conference evaluation survey that will be coming out in a few days time will be used um, to decide the recipients of the GADMAC 2021 awards. Similarly, the SWAT prize, Reach and Rescue Pulse System, will be drawn once attendance records are collated and we've done the draw and that will also be awarded in July. You will have seen that we have some small number of research, we have a small number of research scholarships available. Please take a look under the um, giving back section on our website and contact us as directed if you wish to apply. We're pleased to announce that the Central Queensland University will host the 2022 Global Animal Disaster Management Conference. So we'll be on the lookout for sponsors, speakers, helpers and translators for next year. Finally, on behalf of the GADMAC Organising Committee, I'd like to pass on our sincere thanks to all our speakers and you, our delegates. As they say, we couldn't have done it without you. So thank you, everybody. Please travel safely, take care of each other, take care of your animals. Um, it's been a pleasure to be here for these 10 days. Thanks very much. We'll see you again.